GitHub pages are well structured and provide just about the same information as the white paper would have. Here is an overview of the information I found. Numbers create photo network where assets are both traceable and verifiable. It is done through their capture, seal and trace process. Images and videos created by Numbers protocol are called captures and are multi-layered containers with embedded ownership, context, photo provenance, creator signature and on-chain records. All of these metadata make and keep the images traceable, verifiable and unique. Capture App is a blockchain camera app, not only world's first NFT camera, but also a wallet for photo assets. We will talk about the app in a minute. NFT Search Engine is an application where you can upload NFT image and view its history. Very useful tool to verify your NFT's authenticity. Seal API is a tool for advanced users to register and retrieve assets to and from the network. Very useful for archiving your photos. As for the governance, in order to participate in Numbers DAO, you have to be a CAPTCHA holder. And there are in total five tiers of them. Each has its own rules. For instance, to acquire a pebble, you need to burn 2000 tokens. The other four are rewarded for active contributors to Numbers project. Each tier also has different power. For instance, Rose can make community proposal, whereas Sky can make creator proposals. Voting in such proposals requires you to burn NAM tokens. That is a good idea, although it might incentivize people to vote for short-term price boost proposals, such as the last one, in which community decided to postpone the token distribution for another month. The last section on GitHub pages is FAQ and funnily enough, there are no questions anywhere. Well, I guess everybody knows everything about numbers, except for me. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see another one, click here. So you can watch the uh, Chromias review, which I believe is the most professional review I've ever made.